Hey, Bill Faith, this is Mike Fridge with Audubon Limousine. I'd like to know in a world that's going so digital, how important is it to still have PayPal collateral to give to customers? Fridgy, paper collateral, uh, that's a great question because I think a lot of people struggle with that um, in our industry and even outside of our industry. So I think that paper collateral outside of probably business cards for the corporate side is going away. I mean, if you want to call a business card and drafting a contract or a proposal, paper collateral, then it's absolutely necessary. But I believe that you should be taking everything that we used to do on paper, whether it's brochures, trifolds, all that type of stuff, and that should be done on digital. So as an example, I still believe that if you're gonna do a corporate presentation, one of the best tools that you should be using is PowerPoint. Because you build it in PowerPoint, it's easy for you to customize because you probably don't have a graphic designer or you know somebody like I do on my team, right? So you have it done once and you can go in and customize. Then you can turn that into a video or a slideshow with one click inside of PowerPoint. You can save it to a PDF with one click and you can email it or you can easily deliver that to a client either from your phone, on an iPad, via email as an attachment, or you can bring a little Pico projector and be projecting it up onto a wall or attach it through an HDMI cable right into a TV if you're gonna actually be doing a presentation. So it becomes much more versatile. Outside of that, I think you only need a business card and you know, potentially a proposal or a contract. Now in your case, I know what you do down in New Orleans, probably some rack cards and hotels are gonna be extremely viable and you probably need to have stuff about all of your tours that you do down there outside of just Audubon Limousine uh, because you've got swamp tours, you've got walking tours, you've got plantation tours, you've got ghost tours, you do all this type of stuff and you need to have some descriptions to be able to uh, leave as leave behind. But for a traditional limousine company, I don't think they need that. Hopefully that helps Reggie. If you guys have any questions for me and you wanna be featured on the Ask Limo You Show, just leave a comment down below, PM me here on Facebook, or you can shoot me an email to bill at limogrowth.com. We'll see you on the next episode of the Ask Limo You Show.